and welcome to the Pre-Bid Conference for the summer camp that we are planning to begin next summer. The camp team will introduce ourselves very shortly, but really quickly, I'm Eddie Wilson. I'm the activities project manager on the summer activities camp, summer camp team. Uh, so I am the point person for the activities portion of the camp. So for the most part, I'm the, the face and the email and the phone number that you'll see all over RFPs and everything else. Uh, we are going to run through quickly the vision for the camp, the structure for the camp, and then walk through the RFP. And then we want to reserve as much time as humanly possible for your questions. I know many of you have probably already seen the, the RFP. I made it my personal quest to make it the most distributed document in all of Pittsburgh. I hope that it is. If it's not, please distribute it to even more people. We, we really want as many organizations, as many possible providers. Uh, Ms. Meehan? Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Meehan. I'm new to Pittsburgh via Washington, D.C. I um, have worked in a few different sectors, mostly healthcare and education. And it's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you for your input and your creativity, and we're really excited to form some partnerships throughout the city. Hi, I am Tanya Graham, and I'm the Literacy Project Manager. Um, I am fairly new to Pittsburgh. I've been here about a year, um, and before, before being here, I was in Philadelphia um, teaching there. But I'm really excited to get back to Pittsburgh because originally I'm from Cincinnati. So it was fun being on the East Coast, you know, for college and for teaching afterwards, but it's really nice to be back, you know, someplace where they say pop and where it's got that real good feel. So <laughs> glad to be here. And I'm Allison McLeod and I'm the project manager for operations and logistics for the team. And I'm also new to Pittsburgh Public Schools, so I've been living in Pittsburgh the past four years or so. Um, and prior to this I worked for our Teach for America as their director of operations for their summer Institute um, that, where they train teachers in New York and Chicago. So I'm excited to be in Pittsburgh and excited to meet all of you and we work with many of you. And as I've already said, my name is Eddie Wilson. I'm the Activities Project Manager. I just received my master's at CMU at the Heinz College of Public Policy and Management. Before that, I was an administrator in schools in DC. Before that, I taught in Durham, North Carolina and Roanoke Rapids. So the Southern accent comes out. I, uh, well, I don't apologize for it, but you'll notice the Southern accent coming out. Uh, our camp has four goals. There are, there are four main outcome goals for the summer camp that we are building. The first is that we want our campers to experience a day that's unlike any traditional school day, but still be able to enter ninth grade at or above grade level in literacy. You, you may have heard, you have probably heard that literacy is a huge focus of Pittsburgh Public Schools right now, especially middle school literacy, and that's why we built our camp around middle school literacy. Goal two is the one that most directly affects possible activities providers. We want students and campers to gain a new passion that they, they can continue beyond the summer. We want that passion to be unique and we want it to be interesting and engaging. We know, we all know that research shows that students who have an activity, have a hobby, have an interest are far more likely to stay in school, be engaged in school, and really succeed after school for it. The third, developing skills and knowledge that will allow them to thrive in and after high school also takes huge, a huge place in the activities part, in the activities portion. We want to develop 21st century skills and college readiness skills in campers that, that give them, that set them up for success to succeed both in high school and after high school. And last but definitely not least, we want campers to become more optimistic about the possibilities, become more motivated to succeed, and to have a concrete vision for their lives both in and after high school. We want this camp to show campers and show students the possibilities that, that are in their lives, that exist in their lives. So there is a lot that is still in flux, um, and we definitely are, look, we're, one of the reasons we're really excited to partner with, um, with activities providers is that we really 
really think that you all are going to have some great ideas for fleshing out what um, what it, the afternoon portion of the camp is going to look, look like. Um, but there are some things that we do know about the camp, so we wanted to share some of those with you. Um, we know that, first of all, the camp is going to run most likely between Je July 12th and August 13th. Um, we're still we're still getting official confirmation um, for those dates, but most likely the camp is going to run about that time for a five-week period. We also know that it's going to be for all middle grade students. If you really want to attract and make middle grades all middle grade students from all levels, from all backgrounds, from all the communities in Pittsburgh, really excited about attending. And by all middle grades, specifically incoming fifth, sixth, excuse me, incoming sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. So the current fifth graders are who we're starting with. Um, and this is this is where I come in. We've got to use that data-driven instruction to advance the literacy skills of all students. And that means whether students are performing at a below basic level or at an advanced level, we've got to provide that instruction to challenge them, and it's going to make sure that they're they're having academic growth. And one of the ways we're going to do this is make sure that we're providing instruction in small, homogeneous groups that are really tailored to fit students, not just levels, but also their specific academic needs. So it's very student focused. And that's specific to the literacy portion of the day. Um, we want kids to be excited. After they leave this program, we want them to be enthusiastic and not just saying, oh, that camp was awesome. I can't wait till next summer so I can go back to camp. But we want them to be excited for the school year, for what's coming up. We want what we do during the summer to, to just dovetail right into what's going to happen in August and September. Um, we really want students to know that when they work hard, there's success that comes after that. So we really want to connect effort to success. And that's something that's going to be across the board um, that, we, that we want them to see in the literacy and in the activities portion of the day. Enhance focus on Pathways to the Promise, the Pittsburgh Promise. Um, it's such a wonderful opportunity for our, for our students here in Pittsburgh, and we really, we really want to make sure that at a young age, students know about the promise and are excited about the promise so that they are equipped with the skills that they're going to need to be successful in high school so that they can take advantage of the promise and then be successful in college and beyond. Um, we also want to give students choice um, in the We'll talk about this more in the next slide, but there's going to be choice in the literacy portion of the morning as well as choice during the afternoon doing so many of the exciting activities that we will propose. Um, give opportunities for hands-on community participation through the planning of the afternoon activity, through giving feedback on how to make this program amazing. We just really want, want this to be a part of the Pittsburgh community. It's got to be new. It's got to be fresh. It's got to be out of the box. It's got to be different. It's got to be something that's going to get students excited. And next, we have a typical campus day. Um, in the morning, the, there's going to be a themed literacy focus. And that's what I mentioned briefly a little bit too earlier, that there's a choice in the literacy portion. Um, right now, we're thinking there's going to be three different themes, so that even if students are learning the same content, they're getting to choose the lens through which they learn. So that can be interesting for them. So maybe all, so if all the students are learning about inferencing, that's great. But if one student is very interested in science, then they might go to McDonald's, Mars, and Flying Cars, spectacular science, and learn about it through that thing, while someone else might learn about infancy through let their creative juices flow, um, the art, exploring the arts. And so they're going to have choice in the morning. We mentioned the small group interaction. We also want to give students opportunities to do academic, what we're calling academic electives. And those are opportunities for them to work on their literacy skills but through different venues. So learning about different types of topics will still have the opportunity to practice those reading, writing, speaking skills that they're developing. In the afternoon, we want them to, this is where you all come in, cultivate a new interest through these community partnerships that we're building, that we're building. a new interest, a new talent, a new skill, something that they haven't done before. Um, and another big part of the afternoon are going to be exploratory excursions, um, which encompass field trips as well as college visits. And that's part of that promise readiness, getting students excited about being on the pathway to the promise. And the things that we really want to incorporate in both the morning and the afternoon are developing those 21st century skills, those skills that you need besides being able, you know, besides being able to read, being able to write, besides being excited about about different activities, you know, skills of speaking in public, of being organized, of knowing how to manage your time, and all those skills that you need to be successful um, in life. Make and make sure also that they're focused on being high school and college ready, so that they're prepared for what's going to happen after middle school. Back in your hands. 